What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel, where every week we check out new gallery openings from established as well as on the rise contemporary artists. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Let's go. Today, we will be checking out Kenny Sharp's new show entitled Optimistically Melting at Honor Fraser Gallery. It's a bunch of different works in here paintings, sculptural pieces even some pieces with plants in them. It's a lot of different works. If you're not aware of who Kenny Sharp is, he's been around since the 1980s and came up in the New York art scene. Came up with other artists that are established like Basquiat, Keith Haring, even George Kondo. These new pieces are Kenny Sharp's modern take on a still life. If you're not aware of what a still life is, it's basically just taking a bunch of shit and putting it in the middle of a classroom and making you have to paint it or draw it or something like that. Just taking a bunch of chairs, tables, and stacking them in a way where you can practice. It's extremely boring because you have to paint it exactly the way you see it, which is whack. It's obvious that Kenny Sharp was heavily influenced by pop culture, seeing things on TV like the Jetsons, the Flintstones. Even some of the words got some of the same facial features as those cartoons. The thing that's cool about these works is that they have a street art aesthetic to them. Which makes sense because that's how he came up in the art game. It's like an homage to abstract expressionism and street art culture all wrapped in one. All right, on to the next. Let's see what's going on in this room over here. We got more paintings, more paintings. It even look like it's a couch sitting in the middle of the floor. color palette is very fluorescent it reminds me of like nightlife scene nightclubs parties people doing acid different kind of drugs even the characters in the paintings look like little semen people a lot of sex going on in the 80s This is like a ready-made right here, like a couch painted on, spray painted, all kind of paint drips and everything. It looks like a couch that I might have found somewhere at Cal Arts, just chilling. Might look dirty, but I can guarantee you this is probably the most expensive couch you'll ever see in your life. All right, let's go back in here into the last stop, see what's going on in this room right here. Look like a bunch of pieces made out of old toys. It looks like something I might have had when I was a kid. Elmo alphabet toys and weird kids television remotes, stuff like that. Baby telephones.
even though it's considered a still life, it's still like assemblage art. Kind of puts me in the mind of like George Herms and his work, taking old pieces and kind of gluing them together. chairs look like they were already expensive just kind of put some paint on them smeared it in your booty crack a little bit smear it all in the seat now it's worth a hell of a lot more that's art baby all right that's it everybody thanks for rolling with me to check out the kenny sharp show um be back next week to review some more stuff Stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell for notifications. And we out, man. Peace.